So there will be more sales coming in through mobile. Um, it's going to continue to grow. Um, you're going to see sales shift from other channels um, into mobile. Um, but you're also, because of the nature of mobile, I think that you're going to see larger sales overall because of what you're able to deliver vis-a-vis -vis mobile. Because what you can learn about a customer and how you can service that customer, how you can communicate with that customer through mobile, I think it, it, it's, it's unsurpassed in, in the full range of capabilities, um, both from a, a marketing perspective, um, a customer service perspective, and also from um, a commerce perspective. I, I'm definitely a fan of, of, of some of the work of the big companies in, in Japan and Korea. Um, I think that they've been really leading the way. Um, I don't think they get the credit that they deserve. Um, I think that here in the U.S. Uh, we've given a lot of credit to companies that I feel are doing things that were done five, ten years ago in those markets. Um, Tesco, I think, has, has done some great things. I mean, you look at Rakuten in Japan um, has done some pretty interesting things as well. Um, you know, and the major department stores in those countries, I think, have really been blazing, blazing, blazing some trails. Um, there's also a lot of great things going on in China as well. Um, I'm very excited with with the rate of innovation that I'm seeing in the Chinese market um, and the retailers there. For example, I mean. Um, if you look at uh, what some of the catalog companies have done in Japan, Japan, a uh, very print-heavy country. Where, well, well, print has uh, gone out of style in a lot of places. Um, they've they've managed to do more things with the print. Um, there have been some retailers who who've driven over sixty percent of their business through catalog using mobile. So that interaction of the mobile device and the catalog, being able to point the device at items in the catalog and get more information than that printed page. So basically, you're bringing that online experience into the phone and you're using the catalog and the camera phone as an activation point to, 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 to access that information. Uh, so now a customer can make a more in, informed buying decision. Um, they can get product recommendations, they could get reviews, they, they, they can do comparisons of other products, um, and they can also order faster and easier. Um, in terms of ease of use and, and accessibility, if you look at, um, you know, Korea's been doing a lot of things, um, you know, Tesco get, and, you know, Home Buys gets a lot of attention with what they've been doing in terms of, you know, putting QR codes and product images out there and, and, and so that people on the go don't have to run to the market. They can literally take a picture of different products that they need and then t that company will deliver those goods to their home. Um, so this is wonderful in, in things like the grocery space as an example. Um, and then even, even here in the U.S., um, like one company I, I'd have to say, like, I really like um, what the guys at Murphy Oil have done with SMS and, and bringing some life into that and transactionally. Um, you know, you look at, you know, the ability, it's like how many times have you been at a gas station and you forgot your wallet? Um, and, but how often do you forget your phone? Um, allowing the customer to basically do a transaction through SMS to turn the pump on um, and pump gas so that you can get where they need to go. If you consider what are the things that people do the most on their mobile phone besides phone calls, it's text messaging, um, taking pictures, those would rank probably as two of the top things people do on their phone. So you don't have to train the customer. The customer already knows how to do these things. They've been doing them for a long time. So what you're doing is you can build really robust applications that can live, and I don't want to say the cloud, but they can live on your server side because, I mean, ultimately it's been there for a long time. We've had this capability and the Europeans have had this for a long time. I mean, when I was in, in Europe, I could you know, pay for my late finds on my library books uh, via SMS. Um, so I can build big applications that, that live on the server side and SMS is, is just a way that allows me to communicate with that application. Um, some retailers are doing, for example, search through that. Um, you know, eBay, I think, did some, some really, I thought they were pretty innovative in trying to push text to buy uh, for auctions. Um, and, I mean, eBay has been doing billions in, in, in mobile. Nobody has to, has to uh, <laughs> remind you about how successful they've been in that channel. One of the other areas is, is how MMS is coming into play, um, whereas in the past, um, you couldn't get much reach with MMS, um, and, and MMS, I mean, is essentially just it's it's, it's the the cousin of SMS. Um, the challenge was that you know, one, I didn't know what kind of device my customer was on in a lot of cases as a marketer. Um, so when I wanted to send you know images or pictures or audio files or applications to their handset, I didn't know which one to send um, that's going to work on that device. Um, but now you've got you know companies like like Mugri, which is doing some really interesting things in device detection. So being able to detect what device you're on th through a text message, well, essentially an MMS message, um, that same experience from the customer's perspective, it, it's, it, to them it's just like an SMS experience, it's just like texting, um, but they can detect the device and then they can send down the appropriate file type um, so the customer can get content that's gonna work on their phone. And now they're starting to integrate some really cool features like now t making um, MMS socials. There was a campaign that Mogri did, for example, with, um, with Red Bull Films 
and you can text in and, and you can get, get some trailers, really cool trailers from the films. Um, but then you can also share those um, all through that channel. I mean, all through texting. Um, you know, so this is, this is pretty, pretty compelling um, because it's something that's so easy and it, it's so, like, so many people can do it right now.